What's going on guys? Just wanted to make a quick little thing here and let y'all know before I start this video that all this equipment that I do reviews on and give y'all as much in-depth review of it uh, difference wise as possible, I paid for this equipment out of my pocket. Nobody sent me this equipment. <clears throat> so just know that you know, you're guaranteed with me to get an honest 100% review. Even if this equipment was sent to me, then I would still give you a 100% honest review because I want you to be happy watching my videos and I want you to know that if these are the two items that you want a comparison of, that you can trust me when I do the comparison and let you know my opinions and thoughts of it so i just wanted to throw that out there i know a bunch of people was probably thinking that i own so much echo equipment that uh it was gave to me or sent to me and that's why i do good reviews on it that is not the reason why i have paid and worked my butt off for every piece of equipment i own <clears throat> except for one the 2620 was gave to me um, as a bunch of y'all know but it was not gave to me from echo to do a review on it was gave to, to me through a uh, another lawn care friend and so you know I've had the chance to use it so I want y'all to know the differences between the 2620 and the 2620T and is it worth it to you personally to go out and spend that extra money on the T series if you don't have to so that's what this video is about guys i hope you enjoy it and let's get started what's going on guys danny with lanier lawn care and today i have been asked quite a few times what the difference between the 2620T and the regular 2620 is. Now I've had some time to put uh, into this 2620 and so we're going to go over those differences today so stay tuned. pretty much there's really not a lot of difference to either one of these trimmers there's one main difference that's what it's going to be about so both of these both have 21 fluid ounce fuel tanks both of these have the uh, two-stage air filtration system that's toolless that you can get to both of these also have that's loose tighten that up uh, both of these also have the 25.4 cc engine they take the exact same plug they're pretty much the exact same engine <clears throat> both over modes on these are the exact same real rubbery cushiony over modes very nice both have the four layer cables on the inside and both come with the speed feed 400 heads both come with guards i took this guard off because it got bent up real good so uh this one's still got the guard on it however they both spin the exact same way your main difference in these two trimmers is going to be your 2620T is going to be $359.99. 2620 is $329.99. So there's a $30 difference. And your $30 difference is going to come right here in this gear ratio. So this 2620T has a 2 to 1 gear ratio. This 2620 has a 1.62 to 1 gear ratio. So pretty much the only reason you would want to buy the T model is if you have a bunch of tall, thick grass that you do a lot of the time. If that's majority of what you do is tall, thick grass, the 2620T is probably going to be for you. Now, if most of your lawns you do weekly or bi-weekly, you don't get a lot of calls with people with tall grass, then you know what? Spend the $30 less, get the 2620. It's going to swing through the tall grass anyway. The only reason I would ever buy this is a bunch of the properties I get are overgrown in the beginning before I, I get them done um, and actually get my, my clients on a schedule. That's the only reason you would want to buy this 2620T. So I invested in it because a bunch of my properties had thick, tall grass that needed cut down. A lot of them. So uh, then I ended up getting the opportunity to get the 2620. Now all of my properties that I pretty much get are nice clean properties very you know well maintained i use the 2620 
regular on them. If I run across the high property somebody wants me to cut, take care of, then I use the 2620T. Other than that guys, that's the only difference. Two to one gear ratio, 1.62 to one gear ratio. Is it worth the 30 bucks to you? Ask yourself that question. So until next time, we'll see ya. Hope this helps. Bye.